Did players at this event so far. Nico's number one. He's also played less games. So let's get into the games. Minute 40. Already a man dead. Simple. Next up. Ooh, nice and clean from the Aussie. Down the ramp, they'll continue to fight. So G2 very clearly wanting to get proactive. NPL draws this back. And Hooksy needs to lean into the A site. Bit's gonna chase him. Insta kill with the Glock. Very nicely done from him. But here comes Nico. Getting into position. And they've lost track of it. Yeah, JKS kind of slow here. She's going to hear those footsteps rumbling closer. Needs to section this off. Bomb planter goes down first. Bit, clean answer again. And he has Ben Simple's right hand man. Bomb has been planted. Here comes the Aussie. Oh, the timing's superb. Just tries to lock this in deep on Pit. He has an inkling as to where Electronic's at. Creeps over top, sees him, spots oh! him, ends him. Their kills here for a JKS. And this shot definitely helped out. You know, the, the more selfishly that Hunter plays, the more pressure that falls on JKS. Down goes the banana push. JKS primed and ready. And he is so good on this A4. I mean, it's oh. clean. Banana, at 40 seconds. Now you want to go A. JKS still has a smoke on A after this long drawn out default and he uses it in the perfect spot. They have to disrespect it and they get for three seconds and G2 slide around those corners, but Bit is still coming back. You've got to be cautious. JKS will be behind him. But there's a curious moment here between Bit and Hunter. Everybody else getting closer to the B site. Stacked, of course. Bit no utility though. He can't throw any fake besides showing himself. Nico, again, hit by those nades early on. Monacy, full bar of health. Teammates around him. Hooksy sacrifices himself, standing just a bit forward. And Bit will kill Hunter, but Bomb is right there. Wow. Delivered to the B site. Succulent round out of G2. And it's another five players at the top banana ready, ready to execute. Monacy is the third person on the site, so he's going out a little bit deeper just because there's nothing else to do. And then again, if Bit had any utility, he could throw from both sides of mid, so they're going to throw... Oh, it's a molly towards log. There's the flash. Monacy still comes to and sees them jump across. I Ooh. Oh, the nade Dunk kills gone. him, and they don't need to see B anymore. They're still 4A. They're holding strong. Monacy draws this off. And Nico, the moment he decides to take an initiative, it's an instant headshot on Electronic, who had just come around. So an all-in short side. 10 seconds here. We've got no util except for that smoke. You're not going to get this player out a little pit. You're not going to get JKS out of the corner. You're not going to get Diddly Squad. So been, walk away. It hasn't been proven that JKS can die yet. 13 and 0. Electronic not on the board yet. Different ways to regress. None of them the same. They're going to come back at Monacy. Last time he missed that shot and they were afforded to step a little closer. Won't happen twice. 5v4. They do dismantle this arch boost because the smokes fade. Nico leans away. Monacy having seen that contact. It's going to come down to the A hold yet again. And Hooksy is not looking like he's going to get much action. So JKS still without a death. A lot of players coming in. Here's that movement. And Bit connects to the headshot. Hunter. Ooh. Up close. Perfecto is going to find that Tech 9 kill. But still, tap health for Bit. Not ideal. Bomb planted. So we can celebrate that Navi have found an opening. But who's going to close it? Could still end up leaning either way. We get this lurk around from Hooksy. Wasted no time. B players come over. Now Bit's position's known, and Nico catches him as he tries to fall off the top of the graveyard. Perfecto, come on. It's low, and there you go. Navi on the board. Okay, great clutch out of Perfecto, and they lock it. Oh, was that when they actually only had a few Tech Nines on this as well? And then two, took out two guns right away. Hunter's defense made it feel like they'll still figure this out, but when Hooksy dies inside of apartments, 2v2, very fair fight here for the team. Nope, not gonna come around that wall, and honestly, Bit, good call. Nico, though, flashed around, 5v4 for G2. And he can just recede back into safety. Wow, Monacy's still here. Got a teammate to make sure that he doesn't have to watch his back, but... It's coming, again. Ooh, timing. Monacy goes back, and sure enough, Bit's Galil's enough. JKS takes a few steps backwards. It's Navi trying to reclaim from another man disadvantage. 
Jacaeus has smoked the minute mark. They could challenge NPL. Ooh, and simple. Both go through. Catching him in the open. There's no A defense, none whatsoever. So surely this just transitions into the save. Yeah. Navi, thanks to Bit in that apartment's presence. Back to back rounds. It's opening kills G2. But they reclaim what's theirs. Yeah, it's sort of weird that Monacy doesn't take advantage of the fact that his teammate's standing above him watching the cross up and comes back to see if anyone comes out of window room early. Maybe was also potentially dodging flashes that come through the doorway at the same time. So there was a timing for a bit, but Monacy allowed him to have that timing. And Navi score two. I don't even know if they... I mean, they could chase now. They've done some damage, but okay. Kovach, bros are low. Ooh, it's all going to get cleared out at this rate. They've got Nico pinned in, and sure enough, down he goes. So that's exactly what you're looking for for Navi. Expect nothing less. Yeah. The Navi don't get blown out. Yeah, last time they saw that smoke around the 26 second mark and they were behind it jks was in front of it I'm, at least that's knowledge that the offer is still in mid underhanded flash not going to stop them npl at the helm of this then perfecto then simple but it's nico looking to lock it in player goes over top nico taking him down nice attempt from electronic you, you can dance as much as you want can't stop him simple and bit in the sight a 2v5 attempt almost equalized hunter though Smoke fades. G2 back to winning ways. Damn, that highlight more variety of aim, right? Whether it's tracking, flicking, or otherwise. In Counter-Strike, it's, it's largely about crosshair placement and map knowledge. Tracking is something that falls to the wayside. It's something you do mostly with, like, SMGs or guns that have less impact. Though, so, honestly, gotta be careful with the double back. Will they expect him to be this close? No. JKS caught off guard by that close presence. Modesty's gonna miss the snippet of a headshot that could have been had. So we've got Simple planting that bomb. We've got footing here for Navi. And this one's so clean, so smooth, and honestly silent but deadly mm -hmm. as they walked up that short side. JKS throwing his grenade, telling them everything they need to know. You see the trajectory of those frag grenades. It's so easy for Electronic to just fixate in on him, and especially as he had already held towards Arch. There's no movement. There's no modesty. All right, then I'll sweep away JKS, and with it, the entire site. That's just... Timing.com right there. Monacy has the cross from the site to default, but it comes in late, so... As soon as he got that space, well, it only comes down to one kill. So, four save, but three rounds for, for Navi. Looking good, bro. He's gonna barrel down next to logs. Oh my god! Wow. Hooksy! You freak! I did not expect that. <laughs> I was like, oh, over logs? Into Bell? No, through the smoke, into logs. And he's making so much sound that Simple's ready for the trade frag, so... You know, a little rambunctious, but there's no double down, because it's Nico clean from the top of Banana to keep this one in G2's hands for now. It's also, a ton of damage versus Electronic. The fact Bit goes down solo on that A site means there's no evacuation plan, there's no alternative here for Navi, and there's no savior for electronic you've got four opponents and 11 hp and a measly three rounds on this t side yeah that kind of reveals the game plan right there just because they need to need a frag after that uh nico display on banana the first kill in revenge if he goes down to simple and simple gets to one of those magical 2ks the site's open rotations are screwed up bits lurk is more powerful everything goes wrong for g2 after hooksy dies but instead nico's 15 and 4 he's the number one player here at groups he's not going to lose fights like that He's going to get the refrag right now. So the problems present themselves again for this team. Okay, we run that back 10 times. Uh -huh. How many do you think actually work out in Hooksy's favor? I don't know. I, I don't think it's like 50 50. Yeah, right? Yeah. Oh, right? There's no pressure on Banana. Perfecto's trying to keep eyes on it, but he also has to watch Arch. So, sure enough, Nico can start to make that flank happen. And the sight hole, well, this slides the way of Navi. NPL, three kills, excellently done. Kind of head on a swivel type situation. You see Monacy swap out to the USP. Nico's going to go through his own smoke. And there's nobody holding this. Simple's actually wrapping back around onto the arch side. Bomb planted on the front end of the site. So Nico's got some 
tough lifting to do. It should be an easy one versus NPL. But Simple doubles back around through the library. NPL's just gonna tuck himself in that back sight, completely hidden, hiding. And Nico's running out of time now. Clock playing against him. He's gotta move this one forward. It's a freebie versus NPL. Oh my god. And gosh. then Simple decides to NPL, man. We gotta watch this back. He kills not only the first rifler with a free fire, but offer of Monacy who took a shot and missed, and that transferred to didn't even care. No. Now do it again. Ooh, no, that is, yeah, not gonna be ideal. Remember, I said a free sixth one, one AK. That save comes back to haunt them already. Just a stray bullet out of JKS connects to Electronics' head. That's gonna leave him three and twelve at the end of this half. NPL wastes no time. Gonna catch Monacy so quick on that first one that he turns it. Back into JKS, way too ready. Nico's Deagle, rear its ugly head, and then up above on Valk, we get that stoppage out of Hunter. The Kovach Deagles coming through, but the job not yet done. Bit tries to elicit some kind of a challenge, doesn't come out. Nico looks to section off these players, but of course, Perfecto can take that long route all the way through the apartments. Bit wants assistance before he commits to this. Oh, Nico going up and on the halls. The thing is, okay, there was a player on Banana. They're they're gonna watch this. Perfecto's still at risk here. Peaks. Oh, he walks yeah. out. He gives himself up on a silver platter. So let's go, Bit. Known for a clutch. Hooksy and Nico to deal with. Concerned that he's gonna get wrapped on. Both of them in on short. First headshots, incredibly clean. But for a man, he is very dangerous. Now this is like the heroic setup for the CT side. So they retake mid in this position, but they're not doing it on feeling. They're doing it on reaction, and they're also a little slow here. Double molly in the corners, so it's total sight control. Now we want to watch for what G2 do from here, knowing this retake is coming on. Probably taking pawn control. They're actually not seemingly super worried about banana. Maybe they can't prioritize it by what because they can't watch the smoke. Their last one down on the CT peak. Thinking about going construction with multiple players. Would and could thwart the banana retake. Perfecto, double headshot. A chance at one more. He's got players busy. Nico, that's three. Already on his own, walks back into the new box. Perfecto comes out of the construction play. Oh, while he's in the air. And Nico, an ace in the pistol. God damn, he's in. Oh. Same position that we came off the clip what is that? to begin the half. Second oranges. You know, we, we just came into this half with that really nice third kill on his. Let's see a couple steps ahead. And we'll keep an eye on his pathing, on his success. Beyond the smoke already takes a bit of tag, but Nico goes through. Dirty. And then Monacy. Just make sure that Perfecto can't escape that Molotov, so it just truly feels like G2 can do no wrong. Yeah, I mean, it's not the first time they've done attacks like that. It's a very common play for them, but they just execute on it so well. And when we, in the first half, it was just instance after instance of not be behind on map control on their T side. When they had brackets, G2 were at the bottom of banana. Uh, when they had nothing, G2 had both top bracket and banana control at the same time. Or... They threw in a little halt control here and there, picking all the right times to look for space. And right now, Navi, they just look a little bit more standard, I think, in comparison to G2. And again, sometimes you don't, you can have, if you want to call it a perfect default to take bracket first, then banana, go 5v5, wait till late round to make it perfect. Round 20, and it could be G2's 15th, but immense amounts of utility damage coming out of Navi's hold on Banana. That is solid stuff. Hunter barely allied. They leave with nothing. That's an excellent start out of Navi. Yeah. Something they needed. Bit of forward impact. Simple blinded, but that's all right. He's got bit in the corner to help out. Molly's falling on top of him. Boiler player will not recover, so we're going to get nothing for G2 here. Not even an apt peak. Hmm. 
Every single part of this one shut down. So that's a great example of Navi obviously still having what it takes out the gate. Come out, great utility, yeah. clean kills, everybody, fresh presence of mind. It's just the fact that you're doing it at 14-5. Seriously, yeah. Like we've seen in these five rounds, we've seen really good rounds from Navi. It's just crazy. Like this is, you know, of course a stomp, but it's mostly because G2 are playing this well. Navi have shown some good stuff here. Honestly, does have the bomb. No, come on. Does have the bomb and the opening kill. Here comes the scrambling rotate and electronic boosted up. Cadian's got me on my toes. <laughs> okay. Stark reminder, you never see it coming. Responsible right now for the lane peak. He's not even going to see a Molotov land in front of him. There'll be no tell. There'll be total silence. Total blindness on that side of the map. This is a 2v5 right now on the B site. Same situation as before. Electronic scrambling back into the coffins. Nade could have been far worse. Get a smoke back by Newbox. Had a nice extension from Electronic to just go for that one. But Perfecto didn't think they'd find him. Hooksy seeks out the opening kill inside site. Back to the 4v4 we go, and Electronic can't line up anything else to stop that bomb plant. So they've at least got footing in sight, and we've already got JKS locking in what could be and will be an eventual banana flank. It's simple, of course, on the other side of that. So that's what's brewing on one end. Meanwhile, double CT peak back by Coffins. That gets shut down quick. Now this outpost setup is where Monacy thrives. Up on quad, Hooksy to support, and Hooksy with that clean headshot. Looking to punish the nades in the exit, and they won't get away. No, sir. Simple, left on the op. Didn't even enter the fight in this situation. This is G2 beating their nade protocols, and on banana, I'm telling you, they're the best in the world right now on banana, both sides. That was them in 2-3, and then when they played 2-3 with no further info in the round, well, G2 went back to the strat that worked previously. Navi just had to cross their... I have an insanely hot take, but I'm going to save it for YouTube. You're going to save it for YouTube? I'm not brave enough to say that on the broadcast. <laughs> no, they pay you to talk here. It's true. So you got to keep it. I'm scared just for my own ass right now. <laughs> Ooh, no! Simple pointed! Oh, he's still alive and kicking! But Hunter's able to finish off the little bit that was left, and Hooksy already threw that smoke so deep that this desperate rotate back from B that they have to try to implore. They have to. And the bomb's been left back in mid. Ooh, this could get weird. Perfecto picks up the kill. Of course, Navi are running in, scrambling, expecting that bomb to go down in a moment's notice. Little do they realize it's not going to happen, and they line up in mid. Nico, easy cleanup. Skewers, two players, and pushes Perfecto into the one versus two where he's concerned about that mid push, but already G2 locking this in on site. And you're not getting a hooksy JKS post plant. This is Nico and Monacy. This is the best rifler and the best op that G2 have to offer, and the best case that they could have asked for. A phenomenal Inferno. One that never had you feeling like Navi were even in this. A singular CT round win, all they end up showing. Both pistols, clean conversions, fantastic starts to both halves, and an easy end as well. It's a best of...